Thanksgiving. People in the United States are gathering, traveling throughout this week for the Thanksgiving holiday. Thanksgiving is often referred to as the most unique American holiday. It's celebrated in the United States on the fourth Thursday of, of November and in Canada on the second Monday of October, a little closer to the actual harvest. Historians tell us that our understanding of Thanksgiving, well, the origins just aren't what we think they are, that there's a mythology that's developed. But I think that what's important about our contemporary celebration of Thanksgiving is that it's sort of countercultural, even though it's embedded in the culture. So today I want to talk about all of that, the little bit about the historical underpinnings, how Thanksgiving evolved, and how it's countercultural. As I do that, be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as click the bell so you're notified of future videos. So what historians tell us about Thanksgiving is that the first Thanksgiving was not a meal between the pilgrims and the Native American people. There was a first Thanksgiving in the Plymouth Colony. It was a prayer service. That it was a prayer service shouldn't be a surprise. The people of the Plymouth Colony were not known to be party people. These were people who even outlawed the celebration of Christmas. So they weren't into big parties. Instead, what historians tell us happened was that the Puritans, which is what they called themselves, they were a sect of Congregationalists, ended up killing a large group of Native American people and took their land. And after that, they had a prayer service to thank God for their victory. We know historically that within a f the few, first few years of colonization, about 90% of the native people of New England had died. They died from disease. They died from attack. So that first Thanksgiving wasn't a joyous celebration for the native people, but it was a victory celebration, a prayer service for the Puritans. Now, there were some early Thanksgiving meals. The first Thanksgiving meal was probably in the Virginia colony. And there was another early Thanksgiving meal that took place in what's now Florida. It was a Spanish colony. And again, in those cases, the meals of Thanksgiving occurred right after Native people were killed and their land was taken. So there's a pattern of colonialism and genocide that's at the root of our Thanksgiving holiday, and we just don't know what to do with it. But it's important, I think, to acknowledge it, and I think it's important to understand that many Native people don't celebrate Thanksgiving. And for some who do, what they do is have a memorial for those who were lost because of colonization. It wasn't until the 1800s that the modern idea of thanksgiving began to emerge. And it was a time to give thanks. And that's where our mythology about pilgrims and Indians eating together and coming together really began. And in that, what became focal and what is focal today is a meal. It's a meal that was never had in the colonies, but it's the meal that's become our tradition, the turkey and the cranberries and all the other things. And I think that what's important for us to think about is that on this unique holiday, what we actually do is gather together. We gather as family. We bring together our friends. We even invite strangers into our home, people who don't have places to go. We share a meal. We share leisure together. We share company with each other. And even though sometimes there is stress involved with the gathering because of, of difficult relationships, we still gather and we come together to mark our relatedness to each other. And this is what I think is really countercultural. American culture is built on the idea of individualism. We think about 
pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, being the self-made person, of your success being based on your effort, that if you imagine success for yourself, you will achieve success. It's all about the individual. That's a very strong cultural value. Yet, we have this holiday that's unlike others, that is really a non-commercial holiday. It's a home-based holiday where we mark the importance of gathering together, of sharing a meal. What can be more community-based than sharing a meal? And we build relationships over the meal. And we do things together on Thanksgiving, whether that's watching a football game or playing uh, card games or other table games. We do things together. And in doing so, we renew relationships. I think Thanksgiving is terribly important for us. Even when we're eating a Thanksgiving dinner alone on a TV tray in front of the television, we know that we're connected with other people doing the same thing on that day. And that's what I think is important, that connection. Because in many ways, we're a very fragmented society today. But Thanksgiving draws us back to our connections, to our connections with family, connections with friends, and even connections with strangers, all of whom celebrate by sharing a meal. And it's from these connections that we find ways to make it through for the future, because we're never really individuals alone. We are always people related to others, and we depend on each other for every aspect of our life. And recognizing that leads us to thankfulness, to gratitude, to appreciation for each other. And I think that's powerfully important for us in this moment of history. So it's in that context that I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving and to be aware of the connections you have with others as we mark this holiday. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, share the video, like it, make some comments, and know that I appreciate the time you spend on spirituality beyond borders. Thanks for being here. <music>